In the two years since our first conference in Houston, y'all has thrived. We've done so much in such a short amount of time, and this conference is more than twice as big as the 2017 summit. We are going to push the boundaries and address issues that impact us all. I invite you to soak in the power that we have as young people to create the world we want our own children to inherit. We're ready for the young active labor leaders. This gathering and this group is like at the very core of our mission of the Texas AFL-CIO. Y'all has already changed the labor movement. It is so revolutionary. It is so forward thinking. For those of you who are used to going to your ordinary local union meetings, it's gonna be very different. But our job is to come out of this conference with a shared vision of a labor movement that everybody in this room has a place in. I love connecting with um, comrades from all over the U.S. I love like learning new things, you know, having the opportunity to grow and just uh, add to my skill set and organizing. I'm just here to have a good time, you know. Working together with working class young people across the state and fighting for our values and learning about other people's issues. And seeing how even though we're all from different walks of life, we're all trying to accomplish the same goal. It's just amazing and it's awesome. I'm glad to be here. Just the solidarity, the networking, the coming together and just accomplishing collective goals. This was a lot of work. All of this was a group effort and it was done by people in this room. People that came to our conference last time and got inspired. You guys are the future of the labor movement, and that's awesome. The future of our movement is young, it's queer, it's every color, it's intersectional, it's male, it is female, and that's like badass, right? Like it's something that our peers get, that being in a union is cool. I learned to organize, and I found my voice my voice to speak up against injustice. My union helped me to see the positive impact of collective power. We're organizing every day. We're identifying, educating, and mobilizing members every single day. Because young people were sick and tired, we changed just that quickly to win that election, and I was the youngest person ever to be elected to the Austin City Council because of a movement that was much smaller than the number of people in this room. So I am so psyched about what y'all are going to be able to do. I was really inspired and encouraged by all the new faces that, that are here and eager to go back and get to work. Fight for the labor movement that we want to be a part of. One that is inclusive, one that embraces the Me Too and the Black Lives Matter movement, one that acknowledges and recognizes and fights for our brothers and sisters that are being scapegoated and criminalized by this administration, we got to continue to fight. The work starts and ends with the work that we all do together to stand up and say, we no longer can we continue to be um, fighting against each other for the things that are just blatant human rights. So. You know, igniting the fight against inequality within our labor movement, our racial movements, our social justice unionism work. Um, I'm just really excited to see 250 young workers here united in solidarity with each other and I hope that this Y'all Summit just keeps growing every year. And I want to inspire us in this movement to continue to fight and push back and use everything in our power to keep young folks and young leaders ignited about what it is we can do in our own locals, in our own communities, and in our own state to push back against what's happening to us at the federal and state level. Are y'all ready to fight? Are we ready to win?